Where's the highest population of transgender people? The Bronx? Ah, you're wrong. Cleveland. In the 50s, they shipped. They All the dealers were, were, were uh, taking transgenders, putting them to the Cleveland, Ohio area to work in the fucking Ford plant. And after all those places sat down, all those people sitting there holding on to their dick. But when you go to certain parts of Ohio, there's a suburb outside of Cleveland. It's all fucking trannies. You know what they're in? They're in Sherman Oaks. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Just tell who gives a fuck. I've seen 60 transgender people. They, they come from a community. I hugged the lead tranny. I don't want to hear about it no more. Let's lock all the fucking borders. Don't make it seem like it's just Mexico that's the fucking problem. Shut the fuck up. Did you ever notice that maybe we're full? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You know, get the fuck out of here, man. Leave me the fuck alone. We're fucking full. Have you ever come to that conclusion? Listen, leave me the fuck alone. At this point right now, we're fucking full. The ones that really need to smack of the mouth of this new breed of Gentile, they just talk for the sense of talking to see who's the smartest person in the room. And at the end of the day, they're all a bunch of dumb fucks anyway. Did you watch 60 Minutes three weeks ago? I used to get my dick sucked listening to that when I was 14. Look it up, Jamie, if you get a minute, please, not to be rude. I don't give a fuck. Can you believe, brother? In two weeks, it's going to be 10 years since I've done that wipeout. I want you to think about that. No. There was times I did cocaine that was like electric. And I, I'm a fucking mule. I can eat 2,000 milligrams of synthetic heroin and live. It was like when you put that thing in your hand, or you get electrocuted, you could feel the electric in your body the next day, like that. Like you. The neurotransmitters are fucking on fire. You could feel that. You know, I could tell when I would go on stage after doing two or three nights of blow that week. Tremendous. You're right, that feels tremendous. Do you see what happened yesterday? The cop, the, the Robert De Niro, North Carolina, wherever he was, I don't know where he was, I'm sorry if it's North Carolina. He was smoking a blunt. The cop pulled him over, he fucking dragged the cop. And then the cop shot him in the leg. Twice! Not once, but twice. And poor Robert De Niro. And he still dumped the cop off and he got away. He was petrified. Somebody called him a yam one time. He punched him in the face so hard, he broke the guy's eye socket. He was just a fucking nut. So Larry, they got drones. That green berets are seals. You put razor blades on them, and they slit your fucking throat when you're driving. That's how good the technology is on those drones. They're fucking terrible, those things. And they could take the drone to just come down, and they put razor blades on them or some shit. Listen, those things are terrible. Talk, how the fuck is it 2 o'clock? How the fuck? I thought it was like 1 o'clock. 8 o'clock was my cocaine time. But I got a boogie. Boogie and fucking pee. Don't forget, Omaha, Nebraska next week, bitches. And the week after that, Gotham Comedy Club. Charlotte next week, you dirty bitches. I'm excited.